Hello everyone, my name is Bright Walia. Uh, I am a software engineer and a user interface designer uh, for software, obviously. Uh, I also do some advocacy works in epilepsy through hospital visits, write-ups on social media platforms and radio and TV interviews as well. All right, so after I discovered I had epilepsy in university, a lot of things had changed about my life. I was no longer the same bright that I remember before 2016. But this time my social life had taken a sudden turn and I found it very hard to mingle with my friends and even they found it very hard to mingle with my life. Uh, academically speaking, a lot had changed as well. I found it very hard to study, very hard to remember what I was studying, and even dedicated time to study became a bit of a challenge because the medication I was taking had certain effects. On some days it would bring some really, really bad drowsiness, and on other days I would be up with no sleep whatsoever. And the other challenges were with my lecturers. They found it very hard to believe that I was actually uh, sick or I had a certain condition even though I brought paperwork from medical personnel they couldn't believe that I had something and so this is why I was missing certain classes and, and, and whatnot so I was held back from presenting my dissertation along with my other friends so I was pushed back my friends graduated I had to stay back pleading with the administration to allow me to present my dissertation as life progressed more challenges uh, became imminent in my life. I remember being robbed after having a seizure, uh, trying to run away from a rainstorm. The other time I had a seizure on a bus and I woke up and I was alone. Everybody ran away thinking I was a demon possessed person doing their thing. The other time I had a seizure on a bus and I found myself at the bus stop I could not even recognize and I had to start trading my way back home. So the journey hasn't been all bad. In university, when I was asked to work on a certain project by my supervisor, I decided to cast it aside and work on an application that was going to help people living with epilepsy. And so Seizure Assistant was born. An application that I wanted to make to ensure that when a person suffers a seizure, they are able to get the help that they need immediately. I wanted it to work with uh, a digital wristband like this, where if my heart rate goes to a certain point, the wristband notifies the phone and the phone sends a message to my next of kin or whoever that I'm having a seizure and they will provide the help I need to me. So the dissertation was done. Um, I changed cities and the application was put on hold for a bit. Of course, my struggles continued here and there, but after this one hospital visit where I looked at my fellow uh, epileptics who looked very helpless, I realized there was need for the application that I had been working on. And so I put it out of the dust and started working on it, researching more and more, thinking of what features could be added on the application to help people. And so I added a feature for support groups on the platform and another platform where people can share their common problems and ask questions either anonymously or if they want with their names there because many people are still not ready to come out and talk about their condition. So it is a great honor to be given an opportunity to extend my reach through the IBE and even the local association and to those that are standing like me trying to help people living with this condition, I salute you. It's a great work that you're doing and many need this help that we're giving and many need that courage that we're giving. And to those that are listening to me directly right now, I'd just like to say, indeed, Bright is here to shine the light and he shall continue to do so as long as his name remains Bright. <laughs>